All right, I, <clears throat> I always want to defer to uh, longer term charts when things get tight. And what I've done here is I've drawn really two brackets on crude uh, because I still believe that crude has failed um, to impress in the last four months to continue to the upside. Now I'm wrong when we trade over 57, which is the top of this range on the, on the uh, J contract. And and uh, I continue to be right if we break again under 51.80. So until then, we're just in this like tight, there's two cycles here. And, and as I pull in a little closer, you can kind of see again, that's 55 to uh, 53 level. Uh, we've really been in now for all of 2017, except for the open was the high, highest price of the year, uh, which is just outside of that. But you, again, you can see how tight this balance is right now. And to me, this is a really, like, it's either very bullish or very bearish, depending on which way we're going to break out of this bigger bracket going back four months. Now, I don't have any inkling to which way it's going to go. Uh, but if I pull back even further within the game, you start to, you know, you start to see a little bit more. So this thing's getting kind of top heavy. It's spent a lot of time since November when we were down here at 45, running up here to 57, and gets a little tougher uh, to me again to look at the picture and say, well, we, we've been doing this for a good part of four months and still can't break out. So we've had all types of positive news and reasons why oil is going to go up, and yet we don't. So, you know, when I look at this, I still think fundamentally that there's so much oil in the U.S., so much in the world. OPEC is so desperate to, to get prices higher, yet they're failing here. So I always defer back to the longer term charts. And I don't see a reason to be, uh, I, I'm leaning to the short side, but until we still break that 5180, it's hard to go with gusto. And I'd like to see a weekly and a monthly close below that level also. So uh, it hasn't happened in some time, and until that happens, you, you've got to kind of wait for uh, this to play out one way or another. As you can see, we're basically sitting in balance here again at 54 as we've traded down another 60 cents today. So oil continues to trap people that are trying to get in front of, oh, you got to be bullish. I just, I, I don't see it. I don't see anything in this chart that leads me very bullish, and I'd be leaning towards the short side if I was a portfolio guy, but... Uh, and wrong if uh, you know we get a week close over 57. That's a one week or a one month close. Uh, but uh, the month ends tomorrow. I don't see these prices being breached, so that's not going to help us. Looks like there, and we have to wait until March for the next month end. And uh, the, the weekend is uh, you know obviously March 3rd. So we'll take a look at this again then. But that's really how I look at it. Otherwise, it's an intraday trading device, and, and you can see. Neither direction wins here. We just come back to value over and over and over again. With the bigger brackets, we've had basically one touch up, one touch down. Everything else has been between this 55 and, and 53 for the better part of two months and 2017. And really, you could even go back to uh, early December, except for these couple outliers here that were on the top end. So don't read into more than, you know, more. Uh, than is here. Uh, it's always a situation that I think always by pulling back you're able to see the picture a little bit more clearly and and uh, really um, again the time that it's taking up here is not very bullish the longer time it takes and doesn't proceed higher or if it finally does break then it'll be extremely bullish because then you're gonna have that trampoline below you as it goes higher. Ceiling above if we go lower trampoline below if we go lower. Until th those are proved out I have no idea Keep trading it, but uh, don't get too worked up about it one way or another right now.